begin our Christmas Eve service in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The reading is from Genesis chapter 1, beginning with verse 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Welcome, I forgot my microphone, welcome to our Christmas Eve service here at Atonement Lutheran Church. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you here in our sanctuary and those watching online. Thank you for joining us. Today, on this holy night, let us listen to that beautiful, beautiful hymn, O Holy Night, and while we sing, we're going to listen to Jace, and um, can you, how much light do you need to sing in the dark? We'll turn the lights off if he can, if he can see in the dark, because it's so pretty, um, just being in the, in the light of the candlelight, so all lights off.
Amen. Let us join together and pray our prayer of the day. All-powerful and unseen God, the coming of your light into our weary world has brightened our hearts with peace. Call us out of darkness and come this holy night, the night that our dear Savior is born. We gather tonight to stand with the shepherds amazed at your glory, to sing with the angels rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph trusting in your promise, and to sit with Mary, cradling your love. May the good news of this holy night inspire each of us to go tell the world of the great joy that to us is born a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Glory and praise to you forever, we pray in Jesus' name. May the love and hope and grace upon grace be with you this holy night and always. Amen. Let us join together as we are going to sing, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Join with me in our Christmas dialogue and greeting. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The word became flesh and lived among us, and we have beheld Christ's glory. To us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. In the word was life, and the life was the light of all people. May the grace and hope and love of Christ be with you on this holy night and always, and also with you. At this time, we're going to do something a little special that makes this 8 o'clock service unique from the other service. We're going to um, have, Jace is going to sing two verses of some of the familiar Christmas carols. You may sing along if you wish. As he is singing, I invite you to come forward to our boxes that are filled with um, sand. And you just come forward, grab a candle from a box. You can grab more than one candle. Take your time, as we don't want to have too many people around each box. But you will just light a candle and then place it down into the sand. These candles may represent whatever you wish. These candles may represent giving thanks, celebrating, lighting a candle in honor of someone or lighting a candle in memory of someone. It is your choice and this is your time um, to just come and um, light 
the candles, knowing that Jesus is the light in our darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. So we're going to join in some candle lighting and caroling. And we'll just turn off um, the lights up front, Steve, if we're able to. Thank you. Come as you wish.
Thank you, Jace. We now hear from our Old Testament prophet of Isaiah. The Christmas scripture comes from Isaiah chapter 9, beginning with verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light was shined. For a child was born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. So arise and shine as we sing our gospel acclamation, Angels We Have Heard on High. Come to Bethlehem and see. Lord, open our eyes to see the birth of baby Jesus. Open our ears to hear the angels sing and hear the old, old story, the Christmas story of the birth of Jesus from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. I begin on verse 1. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea, the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. 
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among whom he favors. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger. And when they saw this, they made known what, what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had seen and heard as it had been told to them. The Christmas Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together we celebrate this Christmas Gospel and we sing, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Let us pray. Loving God, on this holy night, by the gift of your Holy Spirit, teach us to treasure your words and ponder them in our heart. Through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh, come, O Lord, this evening with light, and in the morning with your glory, guide our feet to the way of peace. O come to us, abide with us. Live in us, our Lord Emmanuel. God, you are with us no matter what. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We hear that song, A Little Town of Bethlehem, and those words, how silently, how silently the wondrous gift was given. How silently no one knew that was happening that night. Mary and Joseph were surrounded by animals in a manger. Tonight I want you to relax, put your feet on the ground, breathe in, breathe out, be still. Look at the candles, the beautiful red poinsettias. Hear the words that the angels sing out. Do not Be afraid. 
Do not be afraid, for I see I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people, for to you and to you and to you and to, to you and you and me. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah. For unto you is born a child, and this gift is for you. Tonight we take time to just be silent and ponder as Mary pondered these words in her heart. Let us take a moment and ponder this holy night and all that God has done, all that God is doing, and all that God will continue to do in our lives. Thank you, God, for this gift of a baby, that God came down to us in an innocent little baby. I can only imagine what that first Christmas was like. And we're going to go to the slide that shows a painting by Pastor Paul Ullman. He's painted many different pictures, and we've used them in our, our services, and this one is called The Birth of Jesus. And I want you just to look at this picture and what seems to call you. If you were there on that first Christmas night, what character would you like to be? Mary or Joseph, the shepherds, the animals, peeking over the manger to see baby Jesus? I wonder, I wonder what that holy night was like. God came down and God showed up in the most unlikely place. Jesus was born in a manger, surrounded by animals. Mary was a young, unwed mother. Joseph, her fiancé, both of them were very, very young. The shepherds came to see what had happened after the angels had scared them in, in the fields, and they had to come and see what had happened. But Jesus, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Prince of peace, was not born in a place that you would expect. Jesus was not born in a fancy palace, but in a very ordinary stable. God comes in many unexpected places. God works through ordinary people in unexpected ways. I want you to think about a time when God came in an unexpected way to you. When God came as a surprise, maybe through an unexpected person, in an unexpected way, in an unexpected place. How did that feel? God likes to surprise us. Sometimes we like surprises and sometimes we don't like surprises. But just know that nothing, absolutely nothing, could stop God that holy night from coming down in the form of a little baby. And nothing, absolutely nothing, is going to stop God from coming to you and to me, to us, today and every day. God is with us. Emmanuel is Jesus' name, and it means God is with us. Sometimes in our weary world, we don't feel like he is there. Sometimes we may cry out and say, Lord, where are you? But God says, I am here. I will never leave you. God says, I love you. I forgive you. And you are mine. And the good news that the angels shouted out that first holy night, that good news is for us tonight. The same good news that was for Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the angels and for all people on that first Christmas night. Do not be afraid. 
Do not be afraid, for a child has been born for us, a son given to us, and he shall be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And tonight, I'm going to have the children come forward, and we are going to read a story about that first Christmas night. Would you like that, kids? So, um, why don't you just take a moment and just come forward. We're going to kneel at the manger. You can have a seat. We're going to read a story called The First Christmas Night. Do you guys like stories? This story has really pretty pictures. So face the book so you can see the book. Called the, You can even stand. How about you stand so you can see? The First Christmas Night. This is written by Keith Christopher and illustrated by Christine Kamachek. And the pictures are really, really pretty. And here you can see Mary and Joseph coming. And the Bible verse they said is what we just read. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. So we see Mary and Joseph on the donkey traveling. So listen. Twas the very first Christmas when all through the town not a creature was stirring. There was not even a sound. The room... The moon was shining bright in the heavens so high. It gave a luster of midday to the Bethlehem sky. The animals were nestled warm and cozy in their places with looks of contentment on each of their faces. Do you see all the animals? And Mary and Joseph, so tired from the long travel, had just settled in to a humble abode. To, Bethleh to a Bethlehem stable they had traveled with care. They knew that their baby soon would be there. Whoops, come forward here. Don't want you to get near the candles. Can you see the picture here? Where's baby Jesus? And then in the stable, a baby's first cry. Peace on earth, goodwill, redemption is nigh. He had not a crib, but a manger instead. The tiny new baby lay down his sweet head. Baby Jesus. Mary looked down at his cute little nose, and gently she counted ten fingers and ten toes, just like us. A shepherd, the shepherds, they kept watch in their small um, nearby field, and their sheep were all silent and sleepy and still. When suddenly in the sky there arose such a sight, one angel, then many angels, appeared in the night. The heavens rejoiced as the story unfurled. A baby, a savior, had been born to the world. Wow! So the shepherds arose to search for the place, to get a close look at the baby's sweet face. The shepherds kneeled at the manger, and they looked at his face and praised to God and said, with delight, Jesus was born the first Christmas night. And we say, thank you, God, that Jesus was born. A little baby came down from God. And this baby, oh, he grew up to do so much. And we just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this little baby. So we're going to sing together a song called, What Child Is This? And I thank you guys for coming. So we can go back to our seats. Be careful of the candles there. Be careful of the candles. Okay, sing together. What child is this?
hold our offering plates. We're unable to pass our offering at this time, but I want to say thank you for the generosity to support our mission here at Atonement Lutheran Church. We have offering buckets um, by each of the doors, and we just say thank you. Thank you for being an offering. Thank you for offering your hands and your heart, your voices and your feet to go and spread the news of the great joy that Jesus is born. We also want to say thank you to our mission of the quarter, which this quarter is the Jamestown Regional Medical Center Hospice. Hospice is a very dear ministry that ministers to families at a very precious time. And so we pray for the staff and all of the families involved and say thank you for that ministry. So let us pray as I lift up our offering. God, Emmanuel, God with us, you came as a baby to a manger, you slept on straw and greeted shepherds. You come again in bread and wine. Remind us how good you, are, you, how good you are at blessing ordinary things, and that through these gifts help us to bless the lives of others. We pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. At this time, we pray together, and as I say, Lord, in your mercy, we say together, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Wonderful counselor, increase our joy as as we gather together as a church, and on this holy night, churches around the world gather to sing of our dear Savior's birth. May the story of Jesus' birth and his love and his forgiveness and gift of eternal life live in our hearts all year long. God of grace, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, you have broken the sin of, broken the burden of our sins. And thank you for the gift of forgiveness through your son, Jesus Christ, the cross that was born for you and for me. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, uphold all who are in need of any, of any kind. Bring healing of body, mind, and spirit. We pray for healing for Carol, Beth, Corey, Gary, Marvin, June and Gerald. We thank you for all the healing that you have already done and the healing yet to come. We pray for families that are affected by COVID. We pray for all that are in need of your healing touch. Healing God, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, tonight we remember with thanksgiving all who have died and now rest in your peaceful light. Wrap your arms around families who grieve and give special comfort on this holy night. We pray for the family of Liz's daughter, Bridget, who's had, their family has had two deaths, a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law, Linda, in just the last few weeks. So wrap your arms of peace and hope and comfort around them. God of love, Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. Gracious God, surround us in the light of your word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament that we may bear your light to all the world. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. At this time, we celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion, and I want to just make sure before we begin, in these times of COVID, we practice communion a little differently, but God is present in the bread and the wine. So, those of you communing, if you do not have a little baggie, please raise your hand and the ushers will bring you one. I will give you specific instructions as to when, um, when to take the communion and we will just remain um, seated as we are having Holy Communion. So we begin with the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, Almighty God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on this holy night came down 
in the mystery of the Word made flesh and open the eyes of faith to each one of us. Lord, we join with you tonight with the choirs of angels, with the church here on earth and the host of heaven. On this holy night, we praise God's name and we join in their unending hymn as we sing together verse 3 of Sing Choirs of Angels. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, and he gave thanks, and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, and he gave it to all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us join together and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. At this time, you may remove the bread and the wine from your baggie, and I say, the body of Christ given for you, the body of Christ given for you, the body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you.
Thank you, Tanya. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you always in God's love and grace and peace. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, with Mary and Joseph, angels and shepherds and the animals in the stable, we gather around your gift to us, your Son, Jesus Christ, born for us. Bless us with your holy presence and inspire us to help those who have no place to dwell. Be with us that we might hear Christ's love with all the world. For Jesus is our light and our salvation. Glory in heaven and peace on earth now and forever. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we have our service of light. Does everyone have a candle? We will be lighting the candles very soon. So if anybody needs a candle for Silent Night, please raise your hand and an usher can get one for you. At this time, I read the Gospel of Light from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and he was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being with him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. And Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So on this holy night, the, sh the light begins in Jesus and shines through us. Shine, Jesus, shine upon each one of us. Amen. I light our candle from our Christ candle. Jesus is the light of the world. When we're lighting the candles, the candle that's lit always stays upward and then join together. We're going to hum the verses of Silent Night, and then when everyone has their candles lit, we will sing Silent Night.
pray. Almighty God, you made this night, this holy night, shine with the brightness of your true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Christmas blessing. May the Lord God, who has called you out of darkness, he calls you to be servants of light. May God grant you the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the obedience of Joseph, the wonder of Mary, and the peace of the Christ child. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us stand as we extinguish our candles and we sing joy to the world. Emmanuel, God is with you, and let your light shine. God shines in you and through you. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming, and have a blessed, holy Christmas. Amen.